debunking dog training tips off TikTok. So I've just watched a few videos on TikTok and apparently having a crate fixes separation anxiety. Really, as a clinical animal behaviorist, that's not what I see, okay? Having a crate stops the damage that some dogs who have separation-related behaviors might show. And usually that's why people come to me with a dog who has separation anxiety, as most people tend to call it. Okay, and that is because of the fact that they have come home from work and found damage in their house. Either the dog has urinated, defecated, okay, or they have dug and they've ripped up the cushions on the sofa, they've dug up the skirting board, they've chewed through something. Confining a dog in a crate, in theory, might stop them from doing this, okay, which means that it's better for you as a human. What it doesn't do is fix the underlying emotion, the anxiety aspect of this potential problem. Okay, so if your dog's behaviour to dig up and destroy or have accidents in the house is fueled by an underlying emotion of anxiety, so they're having a full-blown panic attack when you leave the house to go to work, then putting them in a cage stops you from having to deal with the damage, but doesn't actually help your dog in any way, shape or form. The other reason people tend to come to me with a dog who has separation issues is because the dog has held the house down the whole day when they've been at work and they've received a noise complaint from the owner next door. Okay, so from the person who lives next door, they've complained. They've maybe rang the council, they've rung the police, they've rung the dog warden, or they've put a passive aggressive note through the door. Okay, usually that's the reason people come to me. It's very rare, but it does happen occasionally that someone will come to me because they've had the sense to put a camera up and have a look at what their dog does when they leave the house. And although the dog shows no overt signs, doesn't destroy the house when they go out, okay, they start to notice from the dog's body language that the dog's not very happy when they leave. Okay, maybe they're pacing, okay, they can't settle, they don't lie down, they don't relax. Putting your dog in a crate does not necessarily just magically cure separation anxiety. Actually, separation anxiety is one of the longest, most hard things for us to be able to fix as behaviorists because it takes time and effort, okay? And one of the ways that we stop it is by suspending all absences, which means you can't leave the dog for any longer than they can cope with whilst we work on the training. And while we work on the training, we expose them to gradually smaller and smaller time periods that they can cope with. Putting them in a crate simply solves the problem for you, but it doesn't take away the emotion of the problem that the dog is experiencing. I'm scared when you go to work, okay? So what we need to do is we need to work out if the crate is actually beneficial. And actually, if you think about if you were in a house and your house was on fire and I locked the door, you're gonna panic more. So if you've got a dog who's already scared and you lock them in a cage when you go out, you're probably making the problem worse. So actually not gonna help them in the slightest.